Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine. I'm a Disney adult. I eat, sleep, and breathe Disney. I love it so much and I love helping people plan their Disney vacations. So if you need help planning a Disney vacation or you are a Disney fan like myself, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon because it notifies you as to when I upload new videos. Now, lately on my channel, I've been trying to include videos that help people who are new to planning Disney vacations, like where do I eat, what do I do, where do I go, um, and just providing those sort of resources. So today's video is really no different. Today I'm going to be showing you a planner I created to help you plan your Disney vacation a little bit easier. Um, it is a digital download that you purchase, So, but the best part about it is that it can be digitally edited. So that means if you have Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat, both of those programs are completely free to purchase on your PC, Mac, tablet, your phone. You can get those whether you're an Apple or an Android user. You can go ahead and edit it directly on your phone or on your tablet or on your computer. Or you have the option of also just printing it out and filling it out and sticking it in a planner that you already have or keeping it accessible to make it really easy to plan your vacation. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera around so I can show you guys this planner. Um, stick around to the end though because I will be giving you guys a code to get half off of this planner. The link for it is below, so go ahead and click that if you're interested. But right now I'm going to turn around and show you guys all about it. Alright, so what I've done here is I've just pulled up the exact file that will be sent to you once you purchase this planner. Um, so right here, all we have is a cover page. This is great if you're printing it out. I also just really like it. I designed it myself, and I think it's super fun. But let's just go ahead and start with the first page of the planner. So you have your package comparison sheet. So when you go on Walt Disney World's um, website, you often can save packages. Um, you can... Um, save them under different names and they give you three different options but this also works if you are looking at off-site like off-property um, hotels because you can put in whatever name you want you can put in your resort name the dates at which you looked because sometimes there's availability um, during certain dates and sometimes there isn't so sometimes the dates switch between each package the room type you have so whether it's two king beds two queen beds things like that any notes you want to take and the cost. The only part of this that I wasn't able to completely make digitally edible was if you chose um, what kind of like park tickets you chose and what dining service um, or dining plan you chose if you chose one. Um, but that, those you can just circle or you know edit or you can put in your notes if you're doing it all digitally. Um, so for example, let me just show you if I was to type in here, you can type in like all star movies. So anywhere you see this little purplish blue highlight, that means it's editable. So I really like it. I'm just going to delete this so I don't keep that in there. But you have a package comparison sheet. And keep in mind, if you purchase this, you are able to duplicate these pages. I do have some pages automatically duplicated for you. But if you need six of these, you can have six of them. Like you can print out another sheet, you can do whatever you want. It is yours to do with what you want. The next page that I have included is a budget tracker. So you can use this in two different ways. You can use it as a budget tracker for your vacation. So you have set a budget amount for your entire vacation and you want to keep a list of like what your expenses are and how much you're spending. Or you can also put the package price total because you are able to, you have to put a deposit down when you book a Disney vacation, but then you're able to make payments on it. So you can always put your package um, total right here and then the date you made a payment on it, you can just put payment, the amount, and your total balance left. So I kind of left this so it, um, it could be more personalized to whichever style you needed. The next thing I have, um, we're going to start talking about packing for your Disney vacation. So I included a packing list with a little bit of like some tips just so you don't forget certain things. So I have your recommended items to pack. These are things that I personally recommend that you make sure you bring with you. I also wanted to highlight for sure that you don't forget to pack your magic bands in your carry-on luggage because you need them for Disney's Magical Express at the airport. I also have two different tips here, um, just packing a reusable water bottle and pre-purchasing items, just a little like just some things I can throw in there to make your life a little bit easier, if, especially if you're new to packing for a Disney vacation. So the next two pages we have are your actual packing list. Now the best part about this for me when I was designing it, I thought was that you can type in what you need. So you need a water bottle, you need a poncho, 
can't spell poncho, whatever, you know what I mean. So you can fill this out however you want. You can print it and you can check it off or you can just leave it in here and check it off as you go. I have two pages for your packing list. Now the next page we have is your shopping list. I have two of these. I have a shopping list before vacation because a lot of times when you're planning a vacation, regardless if it's Disney or not, you often have to buy a couple things before you go. So whether that be any bacterial wipes or Ziploc bags or shorts or swim, or swim trunks or anything like that, you're going to need a little list of just a place to keep it all organized so you know, oh, I need to buy this or oh, I've already purchased that so I don't need to buy that. Um, it just really, I, what I wanted to do was create a centralized hub for everything you would need for your Disney vacation in one spot to make life super easy for you. So we have the shopping list before vacation, and then we have the shopping list on vacation. Now, some people do purchase um, gifts or souvenirs just for themselves. So I have two different um, two different rows here. One is for gifts that you like to purchase for other people, and one is stuff that you want to keep an eye out for yourself or for your family. So that is what I have there. Again, completely editable. The next page we have is your travel and transportation information. So this includes your airline information, your, so this is like your depart, your departure, your um, arrival, or what is it? Is it arrival, departure, your checkout, your check-in, what, whatever. I cannot think of the name right now. I'm totally losing it. But both flights that you need the information for, you have. Then you also have your rental car or your Magical Express information right here. So you can type the company. If it's Magical Express, you just put Magical Express. If it's like Hertz or something like that, you can put that there. You have a contact phone number, your reservation number, any notes you need to take on this particular reservation, the pickup time that you have, or if there's a gate, if it's located at MCO, which is the Orlando International Airport or not. So you have all that information right there. And if you keep this on your phone, the best thing is, like if you forget something, you don't have to go through all your apps to figure out, okay, what was my airline number? Or what was my, um, what was my number, my reservation number for my car? Anything like that. You'll have it all in one spot. So you can't forget anything. Now the next um, page is going to be res your resort information. So you've booked your resort, you've got your flight, you've got everything settled, now you know exactly where you're staying. So this is your resort information page. You can put your resort name here, your check-in time, your check-out time, your confirmation number, your contact information, which includes the address and the phone number. Then you can resort any resort amenities that you want to know or you want to do. You can have that there. Any resort dining, you can have that there. Or any notes, you can do like activities in the area. Um, if you stay on Disney property, sometimes they do like free events, things like that. You can put those there as well. So I wanted to have a nice page for everyone to just be able to look at what their reservation is and have all the contact information, all the check-in information, all of that in one spot. So you don't have to go to five different places to find it. The next one is a to-do list. This is a running to-do list page. So I have included right here, 60 days prior to check-in at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you want to book your Fast Pass selections online. That is a standard to-do. So 60 days out at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you want to make sure you book your Fast Pass selections. You can do that on MyDisneyExperience.com or you can do that online. Um, and then you also can just type in what else you need to do right here. And it's a running list. It makes life really easy. So you can edit right here. You can edit over here. It's a nice big page. And again, if you're printing this and you need more than one page of anything, you can print more than one page. It makes life a lot easier. So that is page 11. We're moving on to page 12, which is a, I have seven pages of this, I believe. It is your daily itinerary page. So you're on your Disney vacation or you're planning your Disney vacation and you want to make sure that you have everything covered. You're a type personality just like me and you want to make sure everything's good. So you put the date of your vacation or of the day that you want to plan, the which park you're going to. You can also put Disney Springs or whatever, but I have these designed mostly for parks and then you have from 5 a.m. until 11 p.m. you have individual hourly little tabs that you can plan what you want. You have your three fast pass selections for the day, so your morning, your afternoon, and your evening. So this could be like Splash Mountain at 1045, um, Space Mountain at 245, 
And so you can edit the ride name and then the time, which is really helpful. <clears throat> if you have reservations for dining, you have reservations for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or there's a snack that you really want to make sure you get. I, I just put a time there because I like to have everything super organized. So it um, makes it really easy. You just put the reservation place here. So you put the restaurant here and then you put the time. And what's really great is let's say you're in a party of like eight or 10 people. You can go ahead and plan everything out and you can put in your notes like a meeting space for everybody. And then you can send this document to everyone. You can just email it to everyone and be like, okay, everything's in there. And you don't have to worry about texting everyone the plan every day or, hey, where are we all meeting up? Where are we doing this? Where are we doing that? Just look at the itinerary and everyone will have the information. And that works for all the adults and any kids who have phones. So it's really, really nice. And then if you are in the parks and there's any shows that you want to see, like any nighttime spectaculars like Happily Ever After or Illuminations, things like that, you can go ahead and put the title of the show, the location at which you want to be at as a group or as a family or like like let's say you want to watch Happily Ever After and everyone needs to meet at the hub in Disney and I mean in Magic Kingdom. So that's where you would meet um, and then you have the time that you want everyone to meet or the time of the show, whatever you prefer. And I have two spaces for that because usually in a day you have about time for two spaces um, if you're planning everything out. And then for characters, this is just character meet and greets. So you can go on Disney's website or on mydisneyexperience.com and you can see what characters are going to be where. And so let's say you want to meet Winnie the Pooh in Magic Kingdom. You can put Pooh Bear or Winnie the Pooh and then you can put the um, ride name that he's next to or the location that he's next to and you can put it right there. So these I just am obsessed with. I think they're great. And the like my, my favorite part about it is that there can be one person who plans the vacation and just sends it off to everyone. That one person who's type A who's planning it, whether that be the mom, the dad, you know, the friend, the daughter, whoever, whoever plans it, the daughter, the son, I don't want to exclude anybody, but then you can just send this to your whole family and be like, hey, here's the plan, super easy, um, we don't have to worry about anything, I've got everything booked, and it's all lined up in here. So we have, from pages 12 to, scrolling, to 18, we have those daily itinerary pages. Again, if you need more, you can always print them out super easy to do that. The next we have is if you are a foodie like me and you one of the reasons you go to Disney is to enjoy the food, this is a great sheet for you. It is food and snacks to try. You put the food item that you want to try, where whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner or snack. Super easy. I just wanted to include something that was fun for foodies like me. The next page is similar to the page beforehand where it is an attraction list. So you this is a attraction you really want to try and you where it's located. This just helps you in planning, keeps everything organized. Okay, when I book my fast passes, I want to make sure I book Splash Mountain, Space Mountain, and Big Thunder Mountain. And that's in Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom. Or you can even put Magic Kingdom, Tomorrowland, Magic Kingdom, Frontierland. The, so you it makes life really easy. Um, it's really more for organization and for helping you book fast passes and keeping a list of where everyone wants to go. So you could also send this out and be like, hey, everyone, write down where you want to go. If you already see it, don't double write it. And then we'll try to book fast passes for at least one ride that everyone wants to do during the day. So it's, it's really nice. And then the last two pages are just notes pages. Um, these are the only pages that I've included that are printable only. Um, they're not editable. And the only reason I did that is because that running to-do list, um, I find will just be a little bit more helpful and a little more organized when it's the digitally editable one and the notes is just a printable one. Um, again, you can print out as many note pages as you need. But that is the planner, and I hope you all really liked it. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, um, you have anything at all that you want to say about it, feedback, anything like that, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below. So since you all stuck around, I'm going to go ahead and give you a half off code. If you go to my Etsy shop, the direct link for this exact item will be in the, in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and click that. If you type in the word kingdom, K-I-N-G-D-O-M, it will give you 50% off this planner making this planner about $5. So I would definitely just recommend giving it a shot. If you have any feedback on it whatsoever, I would love to hear it. I am definitely a new Etsy shop, so anything that I can do to improve my products and to help you guys out even more, that is totally my goal. I hope you all enjoyed this video, 
And thank you for sticking around and checking this out with me. If you have any questions, comments, like I said, leave them below, and I will see you all really soon.